All right. Earth's rotations. Earth rotates on its axis, which creates the day-night cycle. Describe Earth's rotation on its axis. <clears throat> Explain the day-night cycle. How do you know Earth rotates? Something amazing happens every day, unless you live very far north or very far south. The amazing thing is that the sun rises in the east and it also sets in the west. We know that the sun doesn't actually move around the earth. What causes the sun to rise and set is that earth rotates on its axis. This rotation creates day and night. Imagine a line passing through the center of the earth. The line exits the planet at the top and at the bottom. The point at the top is the north pole. The point at the bottom is the south pole. This imaginary line is called an axis. That's our definition. The imaginary the imaginary line that runs through Earth. North to south. All right. The points are the north and south geographic poles. The ge geographic poles are different from the magnetic poles and they are in different places on the planet. Note that the Earth's axis of rotation is tilted. The axis is not perpendicular to the plane of the elliptic. This plane is the one that solar system bodies are mostly lined up in. Earth spins around its axis just as a top spins around its spindle. The spinning movement is called rotation. So spinning movement of Earth around its axis. The axis is Earth's axis of rotation. Earth rotates on its axis once every 24 hours. That's the answer to that question, once every 24 hours. To an observer looking down at the North Pole, Earth appears to rotate counterclockwise. From nearly all points on Earth, the Sun appears to move across the sky from east to west each day of... Of course, the Sun is not moving from east to west at all. Earth is rotating. The Moon and stars also seem to rise in the east and set in the west. Earth's rotation means that there is a cycle of daylight and darkness approximately every 24 hours. This is the length of a day. Different places experience sunset and sunrise at different times, and the amount of daylight and darkness also differs by location. So in summary, sun, moon, and stars appear to travel from east to west each day. Earth rotates on its axis every 24 hours. Earth's rotation causes the day-night cycle. I'm going to draw a picture of Earth as they have here with its axis. I'm going to label that axis. And its rotation on that axis is called its rotation. Okay. 
Gonna have to move all this stuff down. All right. Moving on to Earth's revolutions. So we're looking for the words revolution, orbit, and answering the question, how often does Earth revolve in its orbit? Earth's revolutions, Earth and the other seven planets revolve around the sun in an orbit that is slightly elliptical. Describe Earth's revolution around the sun. What kind of revolution are we talking about? Copernicus Copernicus caused, caused a revolution. He said that Earth revolved around the sun. With his telescope, Galileo found a lot of evidence for this. He could see moons orbiting Jupiter. If moons can orbit Jupiter, surely Earth can orbit the sun, yes? In the two images above, you can see Jupiter at two different times, showing moons in different places. Earth revolution. Earth orbits a star. The star is our sun. One revolution around the sun takes 365.24 days. So that's the answer to that question, 365.24 days. This equals one year. Earth stays in orbit around the sun because of the sun's gravity. Earth's orbit is not a circle. It is a bit elliptical. So as we travel around the sun, sometimes we are a little further away from the sun, sometimes we are closer to the sun. Students sometimes think the slightly oval shape of our Earth causes Earth's seasons. That's not true. The seasons are due to the tilt of Earth's axis, as discussed in the previous concept. The distance between the Earth and the Sun is about 93 million miles, or 150 million kilometers. Earth revolves around the Sun at an average speed of about 27 kilometers per second. <clears throat> Mercury and Venus are closer to the Sun, so they take shorter times to make one orbit. Mercury takes only about 88 Earth days to make one trip around the Sun. All of the other planets take longer amounts of time. The exact amount depends on the planet's distance from the sun. Saturn takes more than 29 Earth years to make one revolution around the sun. How old would you be on Jupiter? So in summary, Earth's orbit around the sun is somewhat elliptical. Earth's seasons are not caused by the shape of its orbit. Earth and other planets of the solar system revolve around the sun. All right. I'm going to give myself more space here. And I'm going to draw Earth again. And I'm going to draw the sun. These are definitely not to scale. And so again, the Earth spins on its axis. Another word we have for that is rotates. So axis, and it rotates on that axis. I draw an arrow. That's rotation. And one rotation of the Earth on its axis is 24 hours or one day. And the Earth revolves or goes around the sun so this is revolution. And one, one complete revolution. Let's see. One complete revolution takes a year for us on Earth, one Earth year. And it moves on the path called an orbit. path of 
revolution. All right, and that is, I should say, slightly elliptical. Meaning not a circle, kind of like an oval. All right, and that is how I would do my notes. You can, of course, do yours differently, but pictures are very helpful in this case um, for me, and I uh, hope that helps.